everyone if you're new to this channel welcome my name is Emanuela and for returning viewers or returning subscribers I say thank you very much for liking my videos sharing with family and friends subscribing sticking to this channel and then supporting me I appreciate you so today we'll be talking about Brazil why is Brazil Brazil is located in the southern America it has about 26 state it's a fun loving place to be all right with friendly people around for africans nigeria to be precise uh, brazil has nigerian food and nigerian style so you can really get acquainted when you get to brazil so some people might ask why brazil why should we choose brazil so let's look at some benefits uh to look for or to look out for as to why you should choose or look out for brazil First is that to study in Brazil, it is totally, totally free at every level. Bachelor's, Master's and PhD. This means that you don't need to pay any tuition fee, even as an international student. And then even your kids can also go to school for free in Brazil. But just know that free tuition is only seen or gotten at the state or the public universities or public schools in brazil if you want to try out the private schools or the private university you will have to pay about uh, two thousand to five thousand dollars for tuition fee per year the second benefit i'd like to talk about is the fact that any child born in brazil automatically becomes a citizen and that's a good one because countries like uh some other countries in europe it is not like that we also have one country like that that is portugal but that is a separate case because for portugal you must have stayed at least one year in portugal give birth and then your child can become a citizen but in brazil even if you have stayed just for two months or three months and you give birth day your child automatically becomes a Brazilian citizen with all the necessary benefits that come with it. On the other hand, if the father and the mother of this newborn child, all right, are not citizens already of Brazil, all right, they get to have a PR, that's the permanent resident uh, permit, all right? And this is because um, the father and the mother or the parents, they need to sign on the birth certificate of the child. So that is the reason why Brazil would give both parents, all right, permanent residence when their child is born. So PR for the parents to permanently live in Brazil. This is amazing, guys. So the third benefit I'd like to talk about to move to Brazil is the fact that in Brazil, there's free healthcare system, all right? So during your uh study or during your work stay in brazil you will get free medical attention especially at public hospitals the fourth benefit i'd like to say is that accommodation as an international student in brazil is very cheap and affordable yes the next benefit is the fact that you will be given a free meal so there's provision for free meal uh for you that you're going to study in brazil you're going to have free lunch every day and then there is free meal for your kids that will be in school you can move with your family with your study visa okay so their visas don't usually take time it takes about two weeks for you to come and that's i'm speaking for nigerians now that are watching brazil also please try to check with your embassy if you're not from nigeria yes another benefit is for people who have hnd all right the higher national diploma and then ond all right uh yes it is accepted in brazil because i know many people have saying they're not going to accept my hnd they're not going to accept my ond yes it is accepted in brazil all right so you can move as a transfer student from your ond to bachelor's degree uh students in brazil while well, you have to show your transcript from your previous uh university all right so for hnd students you can do your master's with your bl with your hnd uh in brazil and then after five years you write an assessment once you pass this assessment then you get a brazil passport as a citizen i know what you get as a citizen it comes with a lot of benefits so please note that after you graduate uh from your studies in brazil you can get jobs yes some people will be asking that there are jobs for you to take up when you graduate so some english-speaking jobs 
some are also uh, bilingual that means it can be in english and then in brazilian language some portuguese that's brazilian portuguese speaking jobs and then you get to be paid very high as a graduate so let's look at some schools you can find in brazil the first one is federal university of santa catarina the second one is federal university of sao paulo it's with a lot of courses for you to apply and choose and make your choice the next one is um Federal University of Santa Maria. Next one is University de Federal do Rio do Janeiro. Next one is Federal University of ABC Santo Andre. Next one is University of Brasilia and lots more. All right, so please, I would put the links to these schools in the description box of this video. But please search for other schools, other public schools in Brazil. All right, get their information and then the info if if the information about any of these schools or other schools that you find uh, is not clear to you probably it comes in portuguese language just take the information place it on google translation you get what the information is talking about and then you reply if you have something to send to them as regards the requirements needed for you to apply and study in that school in brazil so what are the requirements for you to have documents you need to study in Brazil? Of course, the first one I usually say is your passport or your international passport, valid international passport. But the second one is your bachelor's, it's your secondary school certificate for people going for bachelor's studies. And then for you going for master's, you need your bachelor's certificate or, and your transcript. All right, so the next one is that you need to write an exam called Celpebras, C E L P E hyphen B R A S. I'll still put the link in the description box or the name of the exam in the description box so that you can find out. Okay, so this is to attest that you can speak Brazilian Portuguese language, all right, while you are studying in Brazil. Here, I will advise that you start learning with apps like Duolingo and Babel to enlighten you from the scratch of this language. So if you're in Nigeria, the Brazilian Portuguese can be learned at LASU. All right, that's a Lagos State University at a token, at a fee. All right, then after six months or more, depending on how your learning pace is, you can now write the Selfie Braz exam in nigeria as well so if you're not from nigeria please check from your country where you can learn the language and where you can write selpibra exam it's very important so uh note that you can also learn and perfect in the language when you finally move for free to brazil to study all right so search for the school and apply to your course in brazil university if you're unsure about requirements of the course that you choose to study just feel free to locate a professor in that university get the email of that professor send the mail all right or you call the professor or you call the school to actually get the real information as to the requirements on how to apply for the course that you want to do at a particular school you can type in english language translate in portuguese and then send to them they understand English and Portuguese as well at the same time. So, so some of them, they are really good in English language, while some of them, they are just trying. All right, so the third one is that you have to pay your registration or application fees if there, there is any for you to pay. And then the other one is that for POF, that's for proof of funds, it's about $3,000 to $4,000 that you need to show in your bank statement or in your bank account statement that you have enough money to uh, support yourself while you move to study in brazil so somebody might ask or might be wondering can i work while i study yes you can work while you study in 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 uh, brazil all right if you have skills in hair making for example braiding of hair baking nail fixing all right making of african clothes making of handy works in using fabrics to make bags in a crafty way and very lovely way you will make good money in brazil right so if you're also professional with it skills business analysis product marketing product management you also thrive and you make a lot of money even while you are studying in brazil so i also advise that even as a, when you're going as a tourist or you're going as a, on a tourist visa use the time to learn what uh, the brazilian portuguese language okay so why do your tour 
all right in brazil so what are the steps for you to take to apply to schools in brazil the first one i'll usually say is to start learning the brazilian portuguese language little by little little by little you become better all right before you go into the brazilian school it's uh, the portuguese school itself all right so you start learning brazilian portuguese language next is that you start searching for schools online in brazil use your google use your internet find schools make research contact professors in these particular schools, get the requirements, all right? Then you prepare for the entrance exam related to your course in Brazil. The next is that you write the entrance exam related to this course and you wait. And then, so if you have to study, for example, if you have to study nursing in Brazil, you'll be given an assessment on science subjects, not in arts, not in social science. It's going to be in science subjects. So that's what I mean by you'll be given an assessment in related to your uh, field of study. So once you get the admission letter, you apply for your visa with your passport, admission letter, and then other necessary requirements needed by your country's Brazilian embassy or Brazil embassy. So next is that you move to Brazil with your visa. All right. So most schools in Brazil open applications for you to apply by January, February, or even March. All right, for new students to apply and come in, and then their resumption time they resume studies around September. So, guys, if you're interested in, in moving to Brazil, no tuition fees, just learn Brazilian Portuguese language, easy visa process, get your visa in at least two weeks, get Brazil citizen passport in five years, work while you study. This is your chance. All right, you can start your migration journey abroad uh with brazil if that's not your destination but it's affordable for you to move for uh move to at your first step all right then you probably can move to another country in the long run or as you choose if you're new here consider subscribing to this channel and then uh for migration update click on the like button all right so that youtube can recommend this video to as many people as possible that are looking for this information as to how to move to brazil on the study route all right and share to many people share to family and friends so that they can also benefit all right and then for returning viewers thank you very much for your support thank you very much for watching my videos thank you for even suggesting my videos to some other people because i know that as many people that are viewing this video is the fact that they have been recommended this video for them to watch and then know where to apply to as to how to move to brazil okay so thank you very much and please one more thing click on the post notification so that you get updated when i upload new videos as to how to move abroad